Alright, so that first link in the video description will take you to this page right here where you can go ahead and get a free Aweber account. Now as you see here with the free plan that they're offering, you pretty much get everything you need to start with email marketing. So you get email marketing, which just means email broadcasts, email newsletters, then you get automations, you get landing pages, sign up forms, integrations, and also customer support. And that's quite a lot if you compare it with other email marketing providers and their free plan. So I think that's pretty good. If you want to have a more detailed overview of what is included in each plan, you can just head over to the pricing tab right there. And then you see exactly what is included in each, um, in each plan. So they have basically two plans, the pro plan and the free plan. And like I said, a lot of the main features are already included in the free plan and you can use it for free up to 500 subscribers. So I would definitely suggest you start with the free plan and then once you have more than 500 subscribers, you can just upgrade to the pro plan. And if you pay monthly, that will be $19 per month. So let's actually go ahead and get started with a free Aweber account. So to do that, we just click on get Aweber free right here. And then we just get started with typing in our first name and our last name right here and also our email address. I usually sign up with a Gmail address uh, and not really an address um, that is connected to my domain because if at some point I switch domains or something, then I will not be, uh, I will not have access to that email address. So I really like to just sign up with a simple Gmail address and then add my kind of domain address, which is simon at medicsmedia.com. I will add that later, which will, I'm going to show you how to do to actually be able to send out emails from my branded email address. So just go ahead and click sign up right here. Okay, so now we have received an email from Aweber that we have to open and then confirm the email address that we have just used to sign up for Aweber. So go to your email inbox and then find that email that Aweber has just sent you. So this is what the email looks like that you'll be getting from Aweber to confirm your account. And all we have to do here is just click on the get started button right there. And that will take us back to Aweber where we have to decide on a password. So just once again, type in your email address here and then decide on a password and then click on save password. All right, so now we're at the part where Aweber asks us to decide on a plan. And as we've seen before, Aweber has two plans. So they have their pro plan right here, which starts at $16.15 um, per month if you go for the annual um, payment. And they have the free plan, which is basically free for up to 500 subscribers and up to 3000 emails per month. Uh, if you want to go for the pro plan, maybe because you have more than 500 subscribers that you want to import to Aweber, and then you can just choose the pro plan and type in all your payment information right here. But probably most people watching this tutorial, the free plan will be more than enough. And everything I'm showing you inside of this tutorial will be doable with the free plan. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go ahead and sign up for the free plan. And um, this way we also don't have to um, sign up with any credit card information. So I'm just going to go ahead and click continue right here and get started with the free plan. So now on the next step, we can just type in our company information right here. And they also ask us if we have a website. I'm just going to tell them, no, I don't have a website. And then you have to give them a physical address. That's because of the Can Spam Act. It's required by law that you have a physical address at the bottom of every email that you send out using a software like Aweber. And that's why you have to give them a physical address. I would recommend you just um, give them like your business address or maybe you have a PO address that you can just type in here rather than your home address. And then you can also decide on a from name so that what will be visible in the inbox uh, when people receive your email, it will say this as uh, the from name. So somebody will get an email from Medix Media um, the way I have set it up right here. And then once you've done that, just click on next. And here we're already setting up our email list, which is the place where your email contacts will be stored. So we have to give our list a name. I'm just going to name it Maddox, uh, Maddox Media Newsletter. And then we also can give our email list a description. Uh, this is what people will see when they click unsubscribe. So when they don't want to receive your emails anymore, at the bottom of every email, there will be an unsubscribe link. And when they click that link, they will see the description of that email. So you can just type in something like, um, uh, this is 
um, a weekly newsletter of Maddox Media or whatever applies to what you're going to use that email list for. Then once you've done that, click next. And now we have to approve our confirmation message. So when somebody signs up to your email list by maybe typing in their information in a landing page or registration form, they will receive an email um, requesting them to confirm their subscription to your email newsletter. And here you can decide on how this email will look like. So here you can decide on a subject line. So you can have it say, um, first name, confirm your subscription. So it would say, Simon, confirm your subscription. So I'll, I'll just choose this one. And then this is what the message currently looks like. And you can also edit this message. So if you click on edit message content right here, you can maybe um, just say something like, hey, and then personalize by um, choosing their maybe first name. And then it will say, hey, Simon, please click uh, the button below, blah, blah, blah. And then the button text confirm, um, confirm my subscription is fine. And then signature, thank you. And then I'm just going to type in something like Simon and also Maddox Media. And that looks good to me. So I'm just going to click on complete setup. So here on the top left, um, there's the kind of menu, uh, menu options where you'll navigate through Aweber. And when you log in, you will be always, uh, you always see your dashboard. So here you have some quick links. If you want to um, add subscribers, you can create a new email right here. You can add integrations and you will also see some stats of your latest um, growth of your email list and also of your latest um, emails, how well they're doing, how good the open rate was, how many people received the email and so on. But that's not really important for this tutorial because we haven't actually sent out emails yet. Um, so then on the next um, menu item here, the messages, this is where you actually can create new emails and new email campaigns. I'm going to show you exactly how to, um, how to start, how to create a campaign, which is like a, an email series. And um, we're going to create an email series for new people that will be joining our list. And then I'm also going to show you how to um, kind of do a broadcast message, which is like a newsletter. If you have like a new blog post or a new YouTube video that you want to share with your subscribers, you can create a new broadcast message. Here on subscribers, you'll see an overview of all your subscribers and you can also kind of um, sort them by giving them different tags and putting them on different lists. Um, then you have the sign up forms, which is something I will show you how to build one and also how to integrate it with your website. Um, which is an option for people to opt in to your email newsletter. This is the way people get on your email list. And landing page is an alternative method to a sign up form, which is like a standalone um, website that is just uh, for the purpose of people opting into your email list. I'm also going to show you how to build kind of a good looking landing page um, inside of this tutorial. And then you have the reports, which will also be um, interesting once you have um, your email marketing going a bit once you have sent out a couple of emails once you, once you have gained a couple of subscribers and then you can really start seeing the different analytics um, how your email marketing is growing and how your emails are doing kind of uh, important metrics are open rates click-through rates and all that kind of stuff but that's something you can look at once you um, are already kind of set up with email marketing and once you have already sent out a couple of emails and then you can also have like, you have the list options right here where um, you can change the settings of your lists and tags and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna set up here is the email address that we wanna send out emails from. So I signed up with um, medicsmedia at gmail.com, which is not really an email address that you wanna send out emails from. You will optimally wanna send out emails from your own domain. So that for me would be simon at medicsmedia.com. So the way we set this up is we go to the top right here where it says your name's company and then I'm going to click on my account and then I'm going to click on domains and addresses on the left side here. And as you can see here, we have one email set up already right here, medicsmedia at gmail.com. And the way I set up a new email address is I just type it in here. So let's say um, I want to send out emails from simon at uh, maddoxmedia.com. 
And then all I have to do is just click on send verification. And then Aweber will send an email to my email inbox right here uh, where I have to confirm that I actually own this email address. So let's just go ahead and confirm uh, that uh, message. So this is what the email looks like. And all we have to do is just click on verify email address right here. And then your email is now verified. Perfect. Let's go, let's click here and go back to our account. And let's actually see if this works. So let's go back to the top right, click on my account and go to domains and addresses on the left side and then scroll down. And as we see here, we have set up our new email address that we can send out emails from. So this is a lot more professional right here. And you also have a, uh, it's better for deliverability. Now, um, what you can even do to improve your deliverability is set up DKIM and SPF. Now, I don't want to get into what this exactly is. Um, I'll leave an article below this video if you're interested in what this exactly is, but I would highly suggest you actually set this up. So, if you, so to do this, just click on Setup Instructions right here, and then here's exactly what you have to do. So, um, you basically have to go to your domain registrar, so, you do, so the place where you have registered, registered your domain, and then you have to set up this three CNAME records and one text record. I'm not going to show you um, how to do this um, because it really depends on what provider you have. Personally, I have Bluehost right here and they don't let me do this myself. I actually have to contact support for them to add this right there. And I know other posting providers, you can do it yourself. And just, just log into your um, registrar provider, go to the DNS settings of your domain and then add a new CNAME record, like this three CNAME records and the text record right here. And then it, it takes like up to 48 hours until it will be actually uh, available. So once it will be available, you will see uh, this in green. So DKIM and SPF will be green and that will also increase your deliverability um, with your email, which means that your emails will be a lot more likely to actually go to the inbox and people will see your email instead of the spam folder. And that's really what you want.